He is known for pioneering astronautics and being a key figure in the development of modern rocketry. He is recognized for inspiring leading Soviet rocket engineers and contributing to the success of the Soviet space program. His name is Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out as a pioneer in the field of astronautics, Konstantin Edgerodovich Tsiolkovsky. This Russian and Soviet rocket scientist is one of the founding fathers of modern rocketry and astronautics, alongside other great minds like Robert S. Nall Peltry, Hermann Oberth, Fritz von Opel, and Robert H. Goddard. Tsiolkovsky's groundbreaking work would go on to inspire future Soviet rocket engineers like Sergei Korolev and Valentin Glushko, who played crucial roles in the success of the Soviet space program. Tsiolkovsky's life was spent in a log house on the outskirts of Kaluga, a town located about 200 kilometers southwest of Moscow. He was a recluse by nature, preferring solitude over social interaction. This eccentricity made him appear strange and peculiar to his fellow townsfolk. However, it was within the walls of his humble abode that Tsiolkovsky's brilliant mind thrived. His contributions to the field of astronautics were profound. Tsiolkovsky's ideas and theories laid the foundation for the future of space exploration. He delved into the concept of rocket propulsion and developed the fundamental principles that would enable human beings to venture beyond the confines of Earth. Thanks to Tsiolkovsky's visionary thinking, scientists and engineers were able to make significant advancements in the Soviet space program, ultimately leading to groundbreaking achievements in space travel. Konstantin Edgerodovich Tsiolkovsky's legacy is a testament to the power of imagination and scientific inquiry. His ideas and theories paved the way for the remarkable progress made in the field of astronautics. From his log house in Kaluga to the farthest reaches of space, Tsiolkovsky's influence continues to inspire generations of scientists and dreamers, reminding us of the limitless possibilities that lie beyond our planet's boundaries. In the late 19th century, Tsiolkovsky delved into the realm of rocketry as an extension of his philosophical studies. With over 400 works to his name, he became a prolific writer, publishing around 90 pieces on space travel and related topics. Among his contributions were designs for rockets with steering thrusters, multistage boosters, space stations, airlocks for venturing into the vacuum of space, and closed-cycle biological systems to sustain life in space colonies. Tsiolkovsky's scientific journey began in 1880-1881 when he wrote a paper titled Theory of Gases, outlining the foundations of the kinetic theory of gases. However, he soon discovered that his discoveries had been made decades earlier. Undeterred, he continued his research and wrote another work called The Mechanics of the Animal Organism, which earned him recognition and membership in the Russian Physico-Chemical Society. From 1884 onwards, Tsiolkovsky focused on four major areas, the scientific principles behind all metal balloons, streamlined airplanes and trains, hovercrafts, and rockets for interplanetary travel. In 1892, Tsiolkovsky was transferred to a new teaching position in Kaluga, where he continued his experiments. It was during this time that he became fascinated with the idea of constructing an all-metal dirigible capable of changing its size. He established the first aerodynamics laboratory in Russia in his own apartment and built the country's first wind tunnel in 1897. Despite his groundbreaking work in aerodynamics, Tsiolkovsky received little financial support, and he often had to fund his experiments himself. Tsiolkovsky's enthusiasm for aviation led him to propose the concept of an all-metal dirigible, but his ideas were met with resistance and lack of funding. Undeterred, he ventured into the field of heavier-than-air aircraft in 1892, designing a monoplane that anticipated the future of aviation. However, his research failed to gain recognition or support from the Russian scientific community. Disappointed, Tsiolkovsky shifted his focus away from space and aeronautics during World War I and dedicated his efforts to addressing poverty. Despite these setbacks, Tsiolkovsky's passion for rocketry remained unwavering. He began his systematic study of rocket motion in 1896 and developed a rigorous theory of rocket propulsion, culminating in the formulation of the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation in 1897. This equation established the relationship between the change in velocity, delta V, of a rocket, the effective exhaust velocity, VE, and the ratio of initial mass, M0, to final mass, MF. Tsiolkovsky's groundbreaking work in rocketry was published in his seminal work Exploration of Outer Space by Means of Rocket Devices, in 1903, where he proposed the idea of rockets being able to navigate space. His design for a spacecraft, featuring separate sections for the crew and propellant, laid the foundation for modern spaceship design. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.